after spending some time watching numerous Warhammer painting videos and assembly videos and reveal videos, I thought it was time to finally start doing some more work on my Eldari representatives. We're going to the Blood of the Phoenix box set and we're going to do some of the feature miniatures from it. We're going to do Jane Czar, the Squad of Howling Banshees of the new plastic variety, and the Wave Serpent or the, Fal the Falcon Grav Tank that came with the kit. Now, first thing is going to change here is the Falcon Grav Tank is going to become a Wave Serpent using information from the old Heavy Metal magazine many 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 moons ago what I have here are templates for creating a different wave field generator we're gonna go kind of old school with this I figure this is a banshee wave serpent so I can fudge things a little I've got the parts here for the wave serpent turret parts that I found over on uh, Thingiverse as well as the weapon sprues that will let me arm it as I prefer with the twin shuriken cannon. Alright, that said, it's time to get started. All right, at this stage, the core of the Falcon is finished. Of course, I've still got to add the transport, you know, the crew compartment, but that gets expanded for the Wave Serpent because Wave Serpent needs to hold more troops. And that's what the yellow pieces here are for. I accidentally cut two of these. I only really need one because it forms the deck plate there. And then this, forms the new roof. Now one thing I've decided to do here, I've already glued the canopy on because I'm not going to detail the cockpit and in fact I'm going to opaque the canopy just to add some mystery to who's driving it and because you know the driver wouldn't really fit with the aesthetic of the Banshees. So you know we're moving along. All right, as you can see, the Wave Serpent is rapidly taking shape here. Got the old school fins on. Now I'm going to take the new school emitter frames, stick them in the grooves there, and kind of bring a unique look to this thing. All right, with the exception of some details I may still go in and add, we can pretty much call the Wave Serpent here done. Got the new style veins in place in the grooves. The turret is now in place. Admittedly, I haven't made it so it'll move, but I never worried too much about that. All in all, it's an interesting contrast between the old and new styles. I kind of like it. Be really interesting when I paint it up as a uh, Howling Banshees rather than typical Ulthway craft, sorry, Altithay craft world. Okay, moving right along, we have the new all plastic re sculpted Jane Czar of the Howling Banshees. Over here next to her, we have her old, and I do mean old, white metal counterpart. All in all, 
This figure was kind of a pain to put together. There's some uh, joins here that don't really like my kind of clumsy fingertips, but the original Howling Banshee is assembled. All right, what we've got here is the newly completed Eldar Howling Banshee Exarch, as well as the predecessor from the old metal line. Both are wielding the Mirror Blades option. And I seriously need to strip the old one because she's way too dark. But, I don't know if I can get it to focus. As you can see, the new one is not wearing a full helmet. It's an option from the current Banshee line. Whereas the old one is most definitely wearing a full helmet. This point... Time to get working on the other four from the set. And we'll go from there. All right, and here we have the after pictures. The super glue joints were weakened, of course. But as you can see, with very little scrubbing, after a couple of cycles in the ultrasonic cleaner, both of these miniatures are almost pristine and ready to be reassembled and repainted. Now, in the case of the Banshee, I lost one of the sword blades. So what I may wind up doing is scavenging a couple from the... Uh, plastic banshees to use in their place. But, there we are. Alright, one last look at these ladies before they head for the uh, spray booth. I replaced the metal blades on the old metal banshee exarc with the plastic split spear tips actually from the new Howling Banshee set. They look pretty good. The sister is ready to go. In both these cases, as well as the original Jane Czar, I've put the old 25 millimeter bases on some new 28 millimeter just to give them a little more stable platform. I also finished construction on the rest of the Banshees in the squad. So this whole group is basically ready to go. Okay, as you can see, we're still in the paint booth, but everything now has a nice coat of black. Ignore the fact that I've painted over the canopy. I'd never intended to actually show the cockpit on that one. But we got Jane Czar, the second Jane Czar, and all the Banshees, as well as our uh, little sister of battle. At this point, it's about time to seriously start work on colors. All right, after many trials and travails of the airbrush, these are looking a lot whiter on camera than they do uh, by eye, but I've gone in and done a white highlight using some thinned down Steinle Res white primer. At this point, these are just about ready to get their base color of bone and in her case, gold. But, I'm happy I'm getting results now.
Okay. Well, it may not look like much since the last little bit of update. Mind you, it's been several weeks between the two the updates. I have gotten the base coat of Wraithbone on the Banshees, as well as a wash of sepia and a gold dry brush on the sister. Still got a ways to go on all of them, but at least it's an update. All right, I got looking at this little lady and decided that the older style swooping hawk wings, the ones that just kind of went flat across her back, didn't really work. So what I did, I had a couple of the old second set swooping hawks with the two piece wings. So I took them off one of the hawks and the back piece is actually wing mount from uh, the current Drukhari Scourges set. After cobbling that together, I decided I have a much better look that better fits with what I was trying to do. Of course, now I got a repainter and all that other wonderful stuff, but we're getting there. All right, as you can see, some progress has been made. The Banshee armor is actually inspired by the Inari lore the Games Workshop has been working with recently, which is why it is red instead of the traditional bone. In the case of the Banshees who are wearing the helmets, they'll stay in the uh, they'll stay bone that is the the helmets will stay bone Jane's are there as I knock stuff over <laughs> Jane's are here will uh, remain in traditional banshee colors because you know she was the first whereas her metal counterpart will get painted up more like an exarch the sister is almost in full uh, Order of the Blessed Flame colors now. I still have to detail paint her weapon, or weapons, rather, and her uh, face and hair. The wings, much like the armor, have been given a coat of transparent red over the... Uh, for lack of a better term, brass look. This lady here bears a very striking resemblance to the Phoenix Lord of the Eldar Dark Reapers. This is by the same uh, artist, Gamak, who did the uh, female avatar I did more recently. Right now, she's basically black with... Uh, couple of metallic dry brushes to start bringing out the detail while I figure out the rest of her scheme. All right. After much to do and many, many delays, I'm finally finished with the uh, Howling Banshees builds. Most of the delays were actually due to me not feeling the mojo, so I didn't work on them. But, at this point, they're finally done. Okay. What we've got here is we have the finished Jane Czar. Her armor was done in Wraithbone with a coat of... Uh, Citadel Sepia Wash. Her power weapons are done in a custom mix of metallic blue. 
Her hair is a, a mix of various reds, while the greens are done in a, uh, well, it's Citadel's contrast green paint. The base was left in the gray, was, was left in the Zenithal primer with the addition of a new basing material I started using, coffee grounds. Here we have the Hero's Infinite version. I don't remember what they call her, but it's the same basic idea. In this case, the Wraithbone base suit was painted over in a transparent red. The parts that were left in the Wraithbone were done in uh, with the same sepia wash. The skirting and belts were all done in Black Templar's contrast. And, you know, the, co the color scheme was basically repeated over most of the Banshees. The gems were all picked out in the contrast turquoise paint. This gal, showing very well, but she's not wearing her helmet. Just like the lady behind her. Although the lady behind her is wearing a more full mask. All in all, I'm very happy with how the Banshees look. The overall look is something I'll be going for with most of the Aspect Warriors for uh, the Alpha Thay craft world. Now these two ladies kind of hold a special place because that is an on the left is the old Exarch figure that I built with mirror blades from the old metal set of Howling Banshees. And next to her is the original metal figure of Jane Czar. Here we have our Sister of Battle that I fitted out with the Swooping Hawk wings. Like the Banshees, her sword was done with a custom mix of metallic light blue. The coils on her plasma gun, you can just barely make out were done in the contrast turquoise. Like most of her sisters in the Order of the Blessed Flame, she was done as a redhead. And that's the color scheme I followed here. And last but not least, we have the Wave Serpent that I built for them. This was built using a combination of modern parts as well as the older conversion instructions. Color scheme was overall Wraithbone on the top, followed by the sepia on the parts that I kept in the Wraithbone color. Over here, we've got the a hand-painted version of the Halibachi glyph, showing that this Wave Serpent is actually assigned to the Banshees. And we've also got the the glyph for the Altathe craft world in a couple of different places, as well as on the back. Whoop, spun that around a little too fast. I was happy to actually recover the decal sheet that I had created with those on it. The weapons were actually, it started with the Zenithal and then a coat of Null Oil and two coats of the sepia over the top of that. The gems were all picked out in the same turquoise as the gems on the figures. After giving the Wave Serpent itself a sealer coat of flat, I went in with some future and painted over the canopy windows and the gems to help gloss them back up. Now, Enough of my rambling. I'm going to stick some stills at the end of this. And thank you all for watching.